Hello. Let's see. Sure. Oh yeah, I have slow mode on. Huh? I decided to change up some gear. Respect. Respect. Our respect. What the hell? Hold on, what the hell is this? Oh, whatever. Okay. I think we're supposed to talk to someone in the inn. The inn. I'm on the trail. Sid. Good day, stranger. First time at Dracogan? Uh, sure. I have a song ready, but I haven't quite worked out the tune yet. Sure, let's hear it. Let's have it. These rustic fables are quite fun. Let me get out something to write with. Go on. The Ordians are an ordinary lot, and the more those folks, their nearby uh, neighbors met, the more they argue. Man, where? how am I reading this shit? I don't even know where I got folks from in this first sentence. What the hell am I reading? Biggest divide was our glaff laugh and Man, I can't read today. In the end, uh, memories of the broken stone, war and war of the black... Okay, I don't... You know what? Fuck you. I don't care. Uh, t -t -t Task. Find knife for Knifer. Check these rooms. Oh! Orlin hovers by the window, peering out of it every few seconds. As you enter the room, she watches you carefully. Her hand hovering over her stiletto. She cranes her head to peer behind you. Anyone follow you? Who sent you? Someone told me you were responsible for our heinous killings. Let me guess, was that someone named Meredith? Uh, she whips out her stilettos. Whoosh! It's a lie, plain and simple. I got the wrong side of his employees and now he's after me. But if you are here to do his dirty work, I won't make it easy on you. Relax, I just want to hear you said the story. What story? The Domenos. Do, do toenails came after me. I just happened to rob the wrong place. How was I supposed to know they were already claimed? She runs her hands under her hood and through her hair. It was an honest mistake. I'm just trying to survive now. And if you spoke with Murderth, you know where he's waiting. Please help me get out of here. Go east. Uh, all right. I'm trusting you. Don't have much choice. See if you can send him uh, the other way. Okay. I'll take a look. Time to steal. Let's see what lies this way. I can do that. I can do it. All done. Og. I can do that. All done. I could do that. All done. Oh, that's a hell. Hmm. I could do that. All done. I could do that. All done. All right, let's tell this guy to, that she went the other way. Yeah, 
Yeah, change some uh, respect. What? No! I was spirit shifted, and she was in heat, so I aimed for the throat, but not with an arrow. Lol. Hail and well met. She snuck out the back of the inn and went north. Squid said, you pulling the grass into two flimsy threads. Did she now? And how would you have known that? I was just hoping you believe me. Don't worry, I'll catch up with her right after I take care of you. What? Oh, I can't edit it. How would I set this up? Hold on. How would I set the chance up? Did I set up a different uh spec on these people? I'm gonna see something. Uh, which one did I do? I forgot which one I did. Do 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 do. Chanter. Chain tour. One second. Uh. Yeah, how would we set this up? I had to look at it in a second here after I kill these people. She. Let's see how this works. Ow. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Following your lead. Well, the seventeen. Justice. Oh yeah, chance. I only have two of them. Okay, how would I set this up? Let's look at it real quick like. Quickly look over. Cast, uh, you would hire the phrase the longer cast level first level is four seconds. Okay, that means that if you want to do do do. Okay. Speed. Okay. How do I get rid of these? There we go. At sight of the comrades. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a second. Why doesn't it have the other stuff that I unlocked? Hold on. Following your lead. 
How do I look at this stuff? Here. The sound of his voice, the killer froze stiff. White worms writhed in the bellies of the dead. Yeah, how do I... How do I activate this? Requires three phrases chanted. Oh. Blessed. And but Rainy's Darren's ghost. No. Okay, we got this one. Increases movement rate. Reduces slashing damage. Maybe they just does it normally, okay. A woman told her Are we done with this one then? Here we are, cool. Speak with Waila. Who's will keep in the first fires? screen up just has like a uh, builds because I don't know how to build my own freaking classes hmm okay what was it what do we see something Paladin. Paladin. What kind of weapon? Oh, okay. Duels. The Lettos. The athletic skills used to perform actions like jerking off. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to be able to see my OBS. So I could be like, yep, I'm dropping frames or yep. Looking for something. Sure. Shut up. Uh, who am I supposed to talk to? Wyla. The hell's Wyla? Commander Cliver said you were working with an animancer to build forge knights. So much for his talk of secrecy. I, I'm building Cleaver's metal warriors. Cleaver. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay. So. How how are you creating these war forge knights? Armor and souls. Cleaver had me repairing and reinforcing unused armor for months now. You need his research. He's been working out a method to transfer the souls into the armor. Getting the process just right is critical. He holds up one hand, bind the souls too tightly, and you get something like those flesh constructs at the sanitarium. Don't worry about those guys, they're dead. Barely bright enough to avoid walking into a wall. 
He raises his other hand, but to bind them too loosely and they'll be too self-aware of their own good. Bad killers in metal bodies. Oh. Do you disagree with Clavers about the Forge Knights? I disagree with him on near about everything. I disagree with him on near about everything. What? Okay. Doesn't take Imnuk's nose to smell trouble here. He folds his arms and looks at the ground. Don't get me started on the other problem. He shows he's bought to the bower of the Forge Knights. Clavers keeps telling himself that they come from willing donors. Sure. Smell the mud and wet grass fills your nose as Huravas leans in close. Willing donors, eh? Now that's a laugh. He. <laughs> I've known plenty of idiot folk are willing to donate their lives, but I've never seen despair in so dire one would give up their soul. Enough. Goodbye. Built to last. Where's that person? Probably in the barracks, huh? Oh, war room. The war room. The room. War room. War room. Where are you? Dealt with the labor and she no longer travels the crucible than I or anyone else in the heritage. Yes, she go to the keep. Crucible keep and first fire and tell why the over here. Why, Lou? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, training room. The trainer. Here you are. Any news? You guys were charmed by the spirit of a woman named Lyra. I've gotten rid of her. Her tired eyes grow round. What the flame, you found her, my missing round commander. She hews a sign and loses her gaze among the floor tiles. And she was calling to the watch from beyond the grave. It doesn't make sense, but nothing in that occurs as the district does. What happened to the soldiers under the spell? They're dead. I see, nonetheless, uh, thank you for your help. You've left me with as many questions as answers, but at least I know what happened to my troops and Commander Lira. Please accept this as a token. Cool, Hog. farewell. Thank you for your stuff. Young boy named Darren has gone missing in Andra's gift. Otta's son, Darren, has been missing for two days. She is to care for her hollowborn child at home, so she asked me to search for him. Oda last saw Darren when he left with his father to go fishing at the docks. Perhaps I should speak with a sailor and fisherman in Andra's gift. Marcello. Mark and... Mark? And no. A local deckhand told me there and came by a few days ago asking to play on the ship. Marcelo refused and saw the kid heading towards the salty mast. Hmm. The brothel. The kid is getting his rocks off. Gross. Need something? Mm. Uh, oh yeah, missy something here. Uh, reading, reading something about druids. Druids. Uh, hatchet and shield. <clears throat> it progresses enabled Drew. We cast tasting boots. Tasting boats.
Are we, are we a transforming person? At your time. Do the gift or the grift. What's this place called again? The bestiary contains all the information that you need. Time to go to the brothel. The hearings on animacy proceed at the Duckhold Palace. The little progress is reported. We trust our go good duck will come to measure it. Yes. Constitution affects the endurance and health of the character. Wow. Uh, where are you at? Talk to Tulips. Well met, friend. Tell me about this place. Every foreign sailor visiting villagers know the Salty Mass. It's the most famous brothel in Defiance Bay. I love how it's Salty Mass. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Check upstairs. Surely. Let's see. I don't see anybody. I'm keeping an eye on you. Okay, I, these are just a bunch of brothel ladies. They just want brothelness. Uh, older drunkard. Hail, traveler. His robes are torn and stained with vomit. He turns his oilless face towards you, wiping his mouth. Come for a story. His speech is slurred and his voice ragged. I told all the best stories. He slaps his chest. It's like club anyways. What club? A club for refined it, but stay this gentleman. He prods your shoulder. Wait. If you don't know about the club, you must be. He heaves catching at his bat chest. After several precarious seconds, he recovers. Where was I? Oh, you, you must be here about the ring. The ring. He shoves it into your hand. I have to have that get into the lodge. They don't let just anyone in, you know. He wipes a hand on his shredded robe. It's the most exclusive club in Defiance Bay. He slaps you on the back. And whatever you do, you tell him you're new. Or, uh, uh, he turns away overcome by a fit of dry heaving. Thanks, bro. I got a ring for some reason. Bum bum. Can I go in now? Do this club? This club? Go pay Mayo for a night with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't go that way. I. I don't know. Hey, two lips. Wed's eyes are red rimmed and unfocused. He stares into a filthy mug as if searching for something. He shivers and takes another drink. Grab him by the collar. Wade takes a swig, his fist sailing a foot from your ear. His momentum sends him crashing to the floor. He gets up slowly, clutching at the bar for balance. His eyes are filled with shame and self-loathing. What do you want from me? Your son's missing. You better explain what you're doing here. He buries his face in his hands. It's not like that. I was taking the boy fishing. 
I just wanted to stop on the way for a drink. A quick, a quick one. So I told him to wait for me outside. I only meant to stay a few minutes, but by the time I came out, he was gone. And you sit here still. She snorts. <sniffs> he stares at his mug again, takes a quick drink. I don't know what I'm going to do to tell Oda. Oda. I'm gonna go look for him. He turns back to his drink and takes a long gulp. Gulp. I found his father. He left the boy for a quick drink and lost track of him. He's too ashamed now to return home. Hail, traveler. Hail. One hand is tense at her side, but as you approach, she relaxes and gives you a friendly, if wary, smile. I don't see many outfitted like you who aren't looking for trouble. You aren't looking for trouble, are you? What kind of trouble are you having? A frown ripples across her blue facial markings. The kind that's bad for business. Local rowdies have taken to harassing my hardworking boys and girls. And our customers, they started showing up after this rash of hollaborn. They've been driving my regulars away. There aren't too many who care about what happens in places like the gift. But word is you're an exception. The knights are too busy sniffing around Duck Avir to bother with us commoners, and I've just to as soon not I just as soon not deal with their bureaucracy anyway. I could investigate as long as there's coin. You restore my business and there'll be plenty of that, alright. These dogs tend to roam in groups, which suggests me that these that these aren't random innocents. She places one large finger on your chest. You put a stop to these attacks and I'll find a real nice way to thank you. She winks. Got me? Oh shit! She's gonna give me beer. Tagani glances over at Kena. Cover your ears, lad. I've got questions. Shoot. What do you know about these attacks? She waves a hand at the door. You only have to step outside to see it for yourself. Those thugs out there are just waiting to cause trouble for anyone coming along or going. She sizes you up. Maybe they would have let you pass ever. Tell me about your business. She rubs the back of her neck. It's not doing as well as I like with all this trouble. I run an honest enterprise. Just trying to give folks a little rest and relaxation. She nods at you and lowers her voice. You help me out and I'll see about getting you a special discount. <gasps> ah, special discount? I love that. Can I ask you about something? Can I ask you about something? I alt tabbed. This game doesn't play when I'm alt tabbed. A knowing grin rap warps her blue markings. Now just what can I do for a strapping lad like yourself? Hmm. I'm here for some quiet time. Quiet, loud. However you like it, as long as you pay up front. I've got ladies, lads, and a few. I'm not quite sure about. Go talk to whoever tickles your fancy, unless you're fancy Cyril, in which case you can settle with me. I like a night with Cyril. You'll find her quarters upstairs. She lays a large hand on your shoulder. Don't mind the burly fellow at her door. They're just there to make sure everyone has a good time. Uh, minus 100 cropper. Pug. Hoggers. Coppers. Eh. Greetings. Powder almost hides the circles under her eyes and rouge dusts her two prominent cheekbones. Despite it all, Sarah is beautiful. She favors you with a smile. She must have practice and perfected. Hello, stranger. Let me make you more comfortable. Rather warm in here. Bump, bump. Oh, that's it. Guts keep you. Back again. Oh, that's it. All right, bye. Minus a thousand copper. <clears throat> Good day, stranger. Tell me about this place. I thought that was clear as crystal waters below docks. Yep. Uh huh. Refreshments.
<laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, you can walk in the water? I didn't know that. Oh, shit. A young boy's corpse lies at your feet, half covered in dirt and seaweed. His hands have stiffened around a dagger. A soul lingers nearby. Something confused and lost in the sea fog. Reach towards the soul. As you reach for the soul, it lashes out. Glowing mist strike at the air around you. The soul can't touch you, but you feel it burn with a feeble, uncontrolled rage. I'm here to help. The soul flickers. It ripples towards you timidly at first. As it swirls around you, you experience wonder, fear, and the joy of running between the ships at noon. With a jolt, it pulls you into the streets around the salty mast. Women with painted faces weave between men stumbling in and out of lamplight. Father's gone in for a drink, just like always. He said he would only be a few minutes, but it's been hours. The man guarding the door only laughed when he tried to explain this. Ha ha ha. There's always a back door in an alley. Two men have cornered a woman. Her cheeks are streaked with tears. She's backed against the wall and looking away. They're inching closer. You step forward. The men barely acknowledge you. But the woman looks at you. A plea in her eyes. You see that look in and abused strays in your hollow-born sister. That time, father took her from her splintering cradle into the filled wash, wash basin. You were brave that day. A knife is in the long, a thug's belt. It is in your hands, and now it is in his thigh. You're small and fast, but not fast enough. Fingers bite into your arm, and a muddy boot sails towards your face. Then everything is muffled by cold, brackish water. The soul retreats from you. It pulses with a question. You did a brave thing. The gods will reward you next life. Darren's soul absorbs his, this thought and ebbs in this ocean mist around the dock. To uh, Greg McGregginton, are you feeling okay? Did you catch alcoholism from the Darwinians? He smiles, turns nervous as he looks you over, examining you for a sign of injury. You were off in your own little dream for a moment. What's going on with you? None yet. Young boy's corpse lies at your feet, half covered in dirt and seaweed. His eyes is stiffened around a dagger. Soul lingers nearby. Something confused and lost in the sea fall. Take the dagger. The boy's small hands are rigged in death, but you pry the dagger free. It looks too large and too expensive to have belonged to him. The letter B is carved into the pommel. B. B is in boy. Oh, yeah. How do I cancel this? X. B is in boy. Bravo. Let's go tell his dad. Hey, your son's dead. Darren was defending one of the women here for um, a couple of thugs. Wade seems to stare through you. My, my boy died while I was here. How does my wife? She's always said I've come to no good, but I never thought. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why looks into the mug between his hands? That's it then. There really is no going back. I feel my son. You need to tell her what happened. What's the use? It's over. Her son's dead. She'll never have me back. This is where I belong. This is where I belong. Gods keep you. Any of your regulars interested in earning some coin? I, if only they were to spend it again. Just leave me alone. How do I find the bee? Hmm. I have a dagger. The hell? I just realized. Oh wait, that's not his hair. 
I was gonna say, he has like a gold beard. Captain Pepper Jack. So gosh dang funny, man. Everyone's just laughing. I found Darren's body. It's so revealed that he was defending a prostitute from a pair of thugs near the salty mass. They murdered him and left his body beneath one of the docks. I can also hunt down Darren's killer and deal with them. I picked up a dagger with the letter B. B. Sailor. Yuck. I drank d stuff. Hmm. Big Dermsey? I'm not interested. Wait a second. Slight limp. What's wrong with your leg? Huh. Huh. This guy. Sus. On the hunt. Well met, friend. Any progress uh, with those thugs? I've got questions. Buddy. Lender's dead. Well, if that is, if it, it, <laughs> the fuck? Man, I can read. Well, if that don't just, his hand tightens around his cup. He looks away. I told that Claude to enjoy a simple life, but he got these high minded ideas. Couldn't stop thinking about how much things might be different. Looks, thanks for telling me, I guess. Takes the gulp from his drink. I'm going to need a few more of these. Uh, drinks are on me. Mighty kind, thanks to you. There you go. Have money. You can buy more beer. Get drunk. Drunk beer. Huh. Go talk to Otto. Harassing thug. What have we here? Another tourist and gift. Uh, he nods to his shifty eyed companions. I'll give him a proper welcome. I don't think so. Die. Damn, look at that. You wrecked. Ooh, I got a key. Where does that key go? This. 
Drinking horn of moderation. Huh? Ah. Oh yeah, she should have put a shield. Hey there. Never mind, she does have a shield. There you go. <clears throat> Bing bong. Sure. Damn harassing people. Hey, your son's dead and your husband's a uh, deadbeat. Have you found my Darian yet? <clears throat> I don't know how to tell you this, but he's gone. I can't manage any grief. <gasps> she stares back in shock. My boy's dead. That can't be what happened. He was defending one of the prostitutes. He was very brave and he should be proud. She sobs. <gasps> Gods, how could this be make it any better? I would never have let my boy die for one of those women. And yet, she chokes into her sleeve. I can only pray the gods will be kinder to him in the next life. Maybe there's hope for one of our children. <clears throat> After several seconds, she closes her eyes and swallows. I suppose it's better to know the truth than to keep wondering. Thank you, at least, for bringing me answers. Here, take these. I've been saving several keepsakes for Darian one day, but he won't be need them now. Oh no, I wonder why. Now I have another child to pass them on to. <clears throat> well. Quest complete. Rogue Knight. Osric was kicked out of the Crucible Knights by a fellow knight named Pinhelm. Worse, his superiors confiscated a breastplate that has been in his family for generations. Osric has asked me to retrieve a breastplate from Pinhelm. He believes his rival might be here forged a document from Dunrid uh, Row verifying the purity of his soul. If I can prove Pinhelm's forgery, I may have some leverage to get the breastplate back. Pinhelm attacked me after I learned about his forgery. Osric seemed eager to regret his death, but he was glad to have his breastplate back. Oh, never mind. A class that a quest is done. The owner of the salty mass wants me to stop the thugs that harassed her clients and courtesians. Courtesians. She suspects that someone is organizing them. I was attacked by the thugs who were harassing the brothel th patrons. If Mia's theory. Myla, the theory is correct. One of them might have evidence of a larger plot. One of the thugs dropped a key that looks like it belongs to a house in Andra's gift. <gasps> what? What? And this gash here is from when I woke up with a wolf pack trying to eat me. There. Mauled by a bear seven years ago. Oh yeah, look here, and here. Once the bull had me properly hooked on its horns, things got worse. Yep. Uh, 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 What's up, drunkards? I don't think this is the house. Beep. Boop, boop, beep. Boop, beep. Beep, 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 the house. Abandoned house.
This looks like a house. There's nothing here. I feel gypped. The hell, man. No, no. What's impressive is cleaving a man's spine with. No, no. What's impressive is cleaving a man's spine without lumping their head clean off. That takes aim. Bad for him. That takes aim. Bum bum. Is this the house? Ooh, deal with the instigators behind the attacks. Hey, buddies. Gods keep you. A fear wears a defiant expression in a sturdy yet a battered suit of armor. She seems to bear each scratch and ding with pride. You don't look like one of the knights. Can I help you with something? I'm here to, about the troubles at the uh, salty mast. Ordinarily, kith are angry, as they should be with that crooked Ormar torturing up the nobles. She sneers. She's using this tragedy of Wadewind's legacy to line her pockets. She's no better than the Edwin's overlord who drove out 200 years ago. People around here know you to be an honest broker. May has made it so only the rich can afford her establishment. Yet she sits in the poorest district in Defiance Bay. How's that fair? We've taken matters into our own hands, but she's the real criminal here. Why don't you tell her to back down? They might be making a fortune, but her employees aren't. You're hurting them even more. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. Her dull padrons sag. Then I guess there's no point to this, is there? She looks at the thugs standing around her and finally nods. Tell me and we'll leave her people alone. You bitch. Well, good news is your other thugs are dead, lol. They're dead. Kill them. Wait a second, what? Uh, what does that say? Greg McGregenton. Combat ability of any kind is a skill in high demand in a world where much of the wilderness is untamed. Ah, damn. I gotta read all that. Basically, just what the Hi. shit I did. Welcome. Uh, I talked to the ringleader. She agrees to leave you alone. Well, that's a welcome surprise and one worth celebrating. Take some coppers. Enjoy yourself. Her smile widens. And if you choose to have your fun here, enjoy my special discount. Someone's giving you the talk, right? Because Kalu is the one who handles it with children, but if no one ever explained it to you. Cool. Quest complete. Travel with the uh, records. Travel to the cave from Fyra's vision? Huh? Fyra has had a vision of a cave at a place with multicolored pools and a rising waterfall. 
She believes that something there would restore her faith, but she also believes that something else there would try to kill her. If I were to find this item for her, she might be able to resume her duties and resurrect the sacred fires at Defiance Bay. Margaret didn't know where to find the place she saw in her vision, but someone at the Expedition Hall might know. Where the hell is the Expedition Hall? Expedition Hall. Probably not in the this area. Oh shit! Expedition this. Um. Yes. Temple of Wodica. <clears throat> Let's go to the embassy. Not where I need to go, but... Welcome. You have nothing to say. I'll take a look. I can, I can do, do that. that. What's all done wrong? <laughs> Losers, I'm stealing your stuff now. They'll never I can do that. I can do that. All done. The hell is this? Three shades. I know. Hey guys, don't mind me, I just took your stuff. This isn't the expedition hall. Let me get out of here. Purchase two days. Library. Been a pleasant surprise traveling with you, Horavius. Nice of you to say that. I was on the road alone for years, and I'm happy to have company for a change. My part of the country has a saying about Orleans. Face of skin, let them in. Face of hair, best beware. But you're more like a skin-faced Orlin. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, my tribe has a saying, head of brunette, they're all set. Head of blonde says everything wrong. Wait, was that bad? I meant it as a compliment. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hee 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 hee. Ha ah, 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 ha ah, ah. ha ha. Ha ah, ha. Ah. All right. Expedition Hall. Where the hell? Uh, where the hell? Oh, it's over here. Zero hours have passed. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh my god, it took him seven years to get over here. Jesus. All right, our objective is to talk to people and find out about this vision. These guys probably don't have anything. Yeah. Talk to the guy with names. I do have something. If you don't mind stepping on the toes of the Crucible Knights. Come to think of it, the Dominels won't be too pleased either. They've never liked seeing someone with nicer things than them. Where do I begin? Some of my other expeditions have come back with a rumor about a place called Lea Remen up near Stormwall Gorge. It's supposed to hold some of the greatest weapons those Engwithen bastards ever made. And we've got need of them. You're cozy with the knights, you must. Hey, I've heard some rumor of those soul bound monstrosities they're building. I don't know about you, but I don't trust that gas bag Cliver with something like that. Us sensible kith need to be ready to protect ourselves and the city. If there's anything that can stand the chance against this madness, it's weapons made by the Ingwithians themselves. They made the same kind of abominations in their time. They knew how to kill them. I've set, sent the giant slayers after the weapons, but they haven't had much luck so far. They're better fighters than treasure hunters. Meet up with them at the woodland uh, plains and see how far they've gotten. If you can get those weapons, I'll see you get your cut. This is a joke, right? He expects us to grave rob the Gwithians for, for a few rusty old weapons? I should kill him for even suggesting it. I mean, we're not doing this right. He looks at me for a long moment as his face turns pale. Oh no, you're thinking about it. Expel it on you. You're actually thinking about it. Why don't I even... Why doing... Why doing I? Why doing I? The hell? Why doing I even try to instill decency into your heathens? Why doing I? I think it's supposed to be, why do I even try to instill decency into you heathens? Why doing I? Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, 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 I'm looking for work. An expedition, talk to when. Oops. How do you do? How do you do? Behind Stiletto. How do you do? Do you do how do? Summon at the expedition hall, might know. This is where I'm at. Good day to you. How long have you been worked here? Either, okay. And does this make a loyal friend? Of course, Mary, as long as you stick to them. She tips the counter. The vendor who was here before me ran him out and so blah, blah, blah. Tell me. Farewell. Farewell. Keeping an eye out. Map marks areas of geological activity and there wouldn't uh, okay. Wink. Oh. All done. Uh 
I've got a weapon. Or uh, arbalist. Huh. Very slow. Okay. I found a map pinpointing the location of a place called Searing Falls. It's a long journey, but at least I know where it is now. Okay. Searing Falls. Shit. Where the hell is Syrian Falls? Ah, there you are. To the wooden plains and then go south. Ireland payday. Yep. Oh god, what the fuck? The young Drake. Oh god. Good shot with this. Careful, they're thinning our number. Putting us down. Well, kill it. Can't get a good shot with this. Roll up ten. Ow. Where away. Wow. Use. 
Please rest time. God damn. Them dragons streaks messed me up. Huh? The fuck was he using? The fuck? Hmm. Huh. Just kept on spamming that one move. Need something? Need something? Need something. Got it. As your party grows in size, you may want to change their formation. No. Uh, whatever beast comes upon us here, will find us already cooked. Brave Dalfilad Gilead. I think we gotta level up. Level six priest. We got level six. deflection. Okay, how's this work? First level chanter spell. White worms bribe the bellies of the dead. How does that even work? Maybe I'm just an idiot. Look. <laughs> 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 
the hell is she going in for? Stop it. Going in like an idiot. Only problem with alt tabbing is that the game doesn't. It's like open and close the game. Just oh shit. Uh oh. The Drake cocks its like enor enormous head at looking at you with it. It issues a stream of words directly into your mind. Glowing, burning, spark, you, human thing. You come to take my spark, yes? What's the spark? The drake coils its body protectively around something. The spark is an ember, warm, glowing, beautiful. It turns its head to look at you out of one slit of pupil. One day I would become a burning thing, bright and terrible like my spark. I didn't, I, I didn't come here to take a spark. Liar! You come to steal it with your cold, dirty paws. Okay. Well. Hey. Hmm. Following your lead. Yeah. Lavaru. Oh god, he's already dead. Chocolate blue. Oh no, he's knocked Suck over. Oh, okay. Kill the Drake. Wow. I need to figure out how to set up my people so they don't get cleaved. Mm -hmm. 
shimmering cloak. Range deflection. See if we can upgrade any weapons. Weapons. Hey. Huh? The fuck? Yeah. Hold on, let me see something. What do I have for my paladin? Weapon style. Do I have that on? Yeah, dual wield speed. Sure. Huh? Brave thou feelot feeling. It's another Drake. Knocked over, dog. Another drink. Why is this guy taking the damage? Eternal barrows into the depths as far as the eye can see. The crystal waters are perfectly transparent. Look at a 
Oh yeah. Enchant. Damage plus two. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Burning damage. Uh, can I enchant this one? Chant. Oh, I don't have to step around anymore. More damage. I guess we'll go. Where was this person's thing again? Bring spark to fiber. Was correct in both her predictions. I found a strange glowing stone and a massive. Uh, I don't remember which part of the city she was a part of. So let's go to Black and Brackenberry. Not Black and Brackenberry. Brackenberry. Does music sound different to you when your ears, or, well, ear, is another shape? Yes, I find it unpleasant. Most everything seems shrill when I'm a Stalegar. Maybe your keen senses just haven't heard truly fine music yet. A masterfully crafted annoyance is still an annoyance. Uh, this doesn't look like the place. First fire sounds like the place. Uh, probably not. Let's check here, though. <gasps> here, though. What the F? Assassin. Hmm. Oh, e, oh, e, oh, oh, e, oh, e. Yeah. Die. Dude, you got wrecked, dude. Okay. Right. And they really want to kill me.
Does anyone have not? Oh, yeah, here you go. Have a ring. Oh, a ring. Bashing to. Larder door. Bash. Plus four shield door. You guys don't care that there's a tri people trying to kill me in the middle of town. What the hell? Like you guys just don't care. Hey, I found the thing. Let's keep you. Present the burning stone. I've journeyed to the Syrian Falls myself. This is what I found. He takes the stone. By the flame, do you know what this is? No. This is a piece of the God Hammer Tomb Bomb. What? The very weapon that Megrin herself helped us build to defeat the Wade when in the Saint War. She turns the stone in her hand, gazing into a bright glow. Okay. It's weird seeing it right in front of you like that. Before it was just stories, never seemed real. Hmm. So why don't I feel any differently? What good does this do? Her knuckles whiten as she tightens her fingers around the stone. Hmm. You hold a part of the weapon designed by God. The va very existence of such things should fill you with awe. Her face relaxes and her eyes drink in the glowing thing in her hands. So it does. It's not an answer, but it has meaning. Closes her hand around the stone and tucks it away. I've forgotten how important that is. As she looks at the statue, flame springs from its raised hand. One of the things I have always loved about Megrin is her affinity for fire. How it grows and spreads, you feel the warmth from the fire rippling across the room. You've given me what I need. I'll make sure to give the people of Divine Spade the support they need. Now let me give you something you might need. She disappears, returning quickly with something in her hand. A weapon worthy of the goddess herself. Please accept it as a thank you for your service. What do I get? Is it Pog? Or not Pog? Oh, is this it? Flail. Damn, dude. That's cool. Can we look at this stuff yet? Hey. Hello. Hmm. Wait a second. I'm looking for the militia records from the time of the St. Wars trying to find out what happened to someone. The man clears his throat. We've had a number of queries about such information. I'm afraid we had to bar the access. Seems there are still quite a number of folk in Darewood who bear ill will towards the rich digs. Many kind came to settle here as the refugees for the first time. He turns his full attention towards you and his eyes flicker in recognition. Of course, the policy is for a general public. Exceptions can be made for those who have already proven their worth. He looks up at the shelf and withdraws a thick volume shifting a layer of dust aside with his hand. The roster are in the front, the inventories of the dead in the back. He passes it to Edir's outstretched hand. Adir leaves through the book for some time anxiously, running his thick farm hands fingers over the page after page of names. At last, his hand stops, his finger just below one name. <gasps> Woden Talesh died 18 Majaverno, 2808. Third battle of Cle Clea Cleabon Relock. <sighs> Blazing Glant father names, I swear. Ray Saris? I'll be the effigy. 
He fought for Ray at Ceres. Why did he fight for Ray at Ceres? I'm sure he had a good reason. I am too. He stares at the page. His complexion drained. I am too. What? We gotta go there. That battlefield. Clear. The one I said. I don't know how else I'm gonna make sense of all this. I gotta see what he saw. And who knows, maybe his spirit will even be there and you can have one of your weird talks with him. I mean, worth trying, right? Sure. I appreciate that. Wish I could say you won't regret it, but you certainly might. Axes collected. What the fuck? Bronze beneath the lake. Uh, Idir's brother Woden fought for Ray the Sears and died in a battle at Clay Blank Lab. Clay Bon Raylag? Crayblog? Crayblog. Oh, it's over here. I was on my way over there anyways. Meet with giant slayers at the wood end of plains. Right here. Library construction complete. Pog. Uh, let's see, what should I make next? Craft hall. <clears throat> up here uh yeah nothing up here with giant slayers at the wooden plains according to the giant slayers couldn't find a way into the ruins he wants me to meet them at the camp at the wooden plains to see if they learned anything useful okay I don't see shit. Bind eyes with the... Um, oh, bind eyes you with amusement. But his voice carries mess. You must be a lost pup. The giant slayers don't share bonies. Uh, went and sent me to help. 
He stops leaning against his sword and grips the pommel. When and sent you, a knot forms at his jaw. The well-groomed man leans in, swaying as if drunk. You think you can get the weapons? You've got two problems, rookie. A flooded entrance for one and a crucible patron for another. Patrols. Why did I say patrons? We've seen more knights than the face painters out here. Why are the crucible out here? Damned if I know, their glorified thugs and armor and usually, usually prefer their feathered beds to camp cots. I'd get one in an instant, but I can't collect bounties as a wanted man. Tell me about this flooded entrance. Actually, what do you know about these weapons? Wayne L. Wayne, Wayne's? Wayne's? <clears throat> Paying good money. Money. That's all I know. Tell me about the entrance. Must be the rains, he shrugs. He found this in the water, though. He holds up a flat, circular piece of Adra and drops it into the pouch on his belt. Not much natural Adra around here. Might be a key of some kind. Couldn't experiment much with the damn knights prowling around. So what now? That's an interesting question, you see. We never, ever share bounties. His companion moved to side in line with him. Hands on their weapon. <clears throat> oh. That's Wenin's problem, not mine. I'll have words with Wenin, but don't worry about that. He steps forward, his weapon now in hand. You still shouldn't have come. If you don't get your face out of mine, I'll have to split it open. Bine locks eyes with you for an uncomfortable long time. He eventually breaks the stairs, spitting a dark stream into the grass. You got stones, I'll give you that. And you've caught me on a good day, he tosses you the Adria disc. Let's see you figure it out then. He whistles, come on, hot meals for us tonight. We'll deal with these upstarts later. Be seeing you. He turns to his partners and nods. They follow his lead down the hill. I felt like I was hey here there. before. Hmm. Enter the ruins via Stormwall Gorge. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh. Here it is. Engraved Ager Disc. Quick save. Place the disc in the indentation. The stone raises. Oh, wait. The stone rests easily in the face, and you feel air rushing into tiny gaps. Gap. Gaps. God damn. <clears throat> in the indentation, it appears to be held firmly in place now. Continue. You hear the sliding stone underneath your feet, and the sudden rush of water, the pool before you drain, begins to drain. Wow. We unlocked the thingy. Hey, we leveled up. We want for a pallet in here. Oh, are we seven? Hmm. Oh, revive. Coordinated tax. 
I like accuracy. Let's go with that. Overbearing guard. The fighter's disengagement attacks have increased accuracy, damage, and knock enemies prone. Cool. Stonehead, you hear gra grating and grinding coming from the stone ahead above you. It chips the Vedra in its eyes, sockets glow bright green. A voice deep and resonant echoes from the stone mouth. What brings as a... What begins as a gar garble of language resolves itself in its in your own mother tongue. There is no truer blade than its essence forged in bronze. Turn twice to the left and prepare your soul for its reckoning. Can I turn the can? Brave Oh shit. Hey. Huh? Got this. We did it. We need a rest. We got our ass creamed. Ass cream. Stone faces Idris' eyes glow and a voice rumbles from its open mouth. The past is the hilt of a weapon. The true warriors grasp it and knows its strength. Speak the quality that defines you. I bring people together. So it is with your power. Symbol burns on the wall beneath, behind the stone head. Huh? What? I don't know what I did. Hey. I bring your end. Not me end. Consider it dead. What is he doing? 
Green light spills from the relief's eyes. You hear another deep, rough edged voice. Desire is the name of the soul, its purpose and direction, the sharpened point of a blade. Speak your ambition as your soul may strike true. Huh? I would inspire those around me and lend my strength to our common porpoise. Show it shall be. A vessel of flesh may house a soul for years, but a vessel of bronze will house a general soul for generation. Enter the water and choose a vessel of stone. Huh? Nani? Right. Small white stones bloom from the rock. They all feel firmly fixed. Okay. Okay, why is this glowing, but this one's not? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Brave Dalfilat Gilly. The power it moves you. Do it. It's in other. Comrade. Dude, what the? Feel an unwelcome crawling sensation in your head. A high pitched ring overwhelms your senses and is accompanied by an angry utterance. Invader of Dave, the voice is alien and fierce, jolting through your mind like lightning. Needles stab at your brain with every syllable, but it vanished abruptly along with words. The ring in your head is gone. Huh? Maybe we got some level ups. Alright. Chanter. Got. Level RV7. Uh 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 Number Rim and Frost follow the footfalls of Karth. Okay. Interpreting symbols and icons of Ingwith engraved into the floor resolve into words in your mind where you shall call forth two witnesses and they shall take up positions and upon the emblems that bear testament to the characters of his soul the warrior shall ascend a dais soul vessel in hand to undergo transference bearing his soul vessel and a weapon with a heart of Adra the warrior may then approach the urn in this way he shall fashion an arm worthy of his skills and ambitions yeah okay this large tunnel carves underneath the floor and continues to the east it's blocked by glistening ropes and webbing that you might be able to slide past the walls beneath the webbing feel weak and crumbly with the proper tools you might be able to widen the path Widen the tunnel.
You find a weak point in the rock and hammer at the walls of the passage. The brittle stone crumbles away. Within minutes, you've created enough room to slip through the tunnel. As you clear a passage, the needle-like voice digs into your skull once more. Infiltrating, pursuing, you shall not have it. You hear a uh, hungry, hungry chittering. Now feed! Skittering creatures with gnashing mandibles pour from the walls. Uh, now why did she take so much goddamn dance? Scratches. Arthur, 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 Sticky threads of webbing dangle from the mouth of the tunnel. The passage through it is clear enough. Enter the tunnel. Oh, shit! Ranger, level seven. What do you got? Docker's Link. Long experience fighter together enables the Ranger and Animal Companion to fight as a highly efficient team. The Ranger gains an accuracy bonus while fighting an enemy already engaged by the Animal Companion. Oh, okay. Do they have... Hold on, let me see some. I'm here. Ranger holds position and prioritize enemies that are engaged by his or her animal activity. Okay. Hmm. The hell? Hello? Oh shit, that's a... What the hell is that thing? Don't mind us, we're gonna rest right in front of you. Don't mind me. Doing a little rest. A robed gangling... Gangling? Creature lurches towards you and you feel something needling at your brain again. The screeching hiss that invades your mind is edged with rage. Digging and berating the animal pauses its mouthpieces clacking. When it words fills your mind again, you they're tempered with fear. My legacy. It clutches an egg like stone in its spindly fingers. The white stone glows with life and you feel a presence inside. <clears throat> the creature notices your interest. For oh, the colony, it cocks his head. Animal calm, peaceful, yes. Its thoughts echo back at you. From within the stone, it occurs to you that a piece of the creature's soul is somehow housed within it. What are you doing with that stone? Legacy colony. The segmented mouth parts sca scrape together. Young are always few and slow to hatch. Fragile. The creature indicates itself with a hairy appendage, last of colony, soon to die. It draws the stone closer to its narrow chest, along dead animals put spirit stuff in metal. It points behind it, I keep spirit stuff in stone. Take to a new colony, colony alone is weak, young, young frail, empty of wisdom, but two colonies together survive, make strong colony. It strokes the stone. Need legacy to guide new colony. Keep strong. Hmm. Go and may there be, be, twee, be peace between our kinds. Should we kill it? Fuck it. Die! Its mandibles rattle and click. And it squeals at a frequency that can only be heard by 
can only just what that you can only just hear spiders emerge from the shadows Brave Brave <coughs> Well, take Healer Chan, put you in the middle. That's gone. Oh god. Rest up, big guy. We got your back. Hey. Yeah? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. done it but we got to set it up just right so he's i can funnel him in oh, i suck i can't even do this normally oh yeah i rest is here let's uh take hey. this guy huh hmm Hey there. Ready, Watcher. Yes? As you say. Alright, you guys stand here. Hmm. Need something? Right. Right. Die. Oh no. I've seen the little guy go down. I just have to try something else. The fuck? Hey, let's talk this over. We got Tsugani. I just have to try something else. You're not getting through me. Okay. We do it. The large glutinous brain of Vithrak. Sure. Huh? Huh. A 
Spi. Ancient Inguithian weapons. Okay. it down here right the hell out of here enter the tunnel in this copper lane oh I guess I could do go back there again what did I just do I just did something, but I don't know what I did. Huh. Huh. I don't know. Or is this it? Oh. Enter the ruins. Yeah, okay, this is what we, <laughs> that's what we did. <laughs> It's waning up. Uh oh. As you emerge from the ruins, several figures surround you by their immaculate matched suit of armor. You recognize them as crucible knights. Their leader approaches you, something between a smirk and a snarl on his lips. Vandals and looters, you people who won't listen to the ducks' orders, the face painter's threats, or common sense. He shakes his head. Can't afford another broken stone war. He draws his weapon. I hope whatever you found in there was worth it. Brave Brave really? Oh, 
Cape of Deflection. Ooh. That actually sounds goog. So much deflection. Bring weapons to the expedition hall. Okay. Expedition. What else do you need? Give him the tarnished weapons. I've brought the weaponry. They're old, all right. But this isn't what I was expecting. I don't suppose you figured out what was supposed to make them so special. The Equithians used to fill them with fragments of their own essence. Please take them. He stares at this rusted weapons in horror and disgust. If I had known, I'd see the, someone dispose of this perversion. I don't wonder that the Galfandians don't want you lot digging around those ruins. If you're only going for whatever you find. Look, now you have me sympathizing with them. At least I don't have to waste any more expeditions on this. If the knights make a move, we'll just have to face them down with old-fashioned deer wooden metal. Good luck to you. Speaking of knights, his eyes dart back to you. I hear you had a run-in with a patrol at Storm. You don't seem surprised. Might be I sent them your way, needing uh, them to turn their attention away from the city for a while. Now they'll be doubling and tripling those patrols. There is a reckoning coming with when these hearings end. Folks have had it with the legacy. They've had it with the soul butchering and angering the gods that the duck won't stop them. I'll be the effigy if the people, good people of Deerwood don't see it to themselves. And the, uh, the dozens will lead the charge. If they're charging on Brackenberry Sanitarium, there's always the hope that they stay there a while. There's nobody left in that sanitarium anyways. I killed them all. The knights are with the duck in this one. If we, if he decides wrong, they'll be in our way. I'm just making preparations. I knew you'd do well. Don't hold it against me. The knights started out like you. Mind that you don't turn into them. Ha, huh, you can be sure of that. Greg McGregington was granted mob justice. Whatever the hell that means. He slaps you in the shoulder. 
Anyway, I owe you one. I want you to take my old war bow. It's a trusty piece, but I won't be sniping in the shadows when Divine's Bay has need of us. No hard feelings, I hope. And if there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. Bye. I've got a bow. Have a bow. Ah, uh, deliver the package to Gareth. Okay. Delivery. Others preferred traditional weaponry. Yet you seem uneasy with the bow. Oh, I was a great shot when I had two eyes. I'm much worse now. It's hard for me to judge distances. Well, you have the luxury of being able to catch dinner without the need of a bow. Exactly. Why aren't more women complimenting me on that? Yep. Totally. Steve's hideout. Right, everyone knows the plan. Out the wall and in the window. Grab the jewel for the pretty little lord. We got it. Listen, dwarf, if I have to. Langdon, we have company. Greetings. The dwarf eyes you suspiciously and hides his pistol behind his back. You, uh, looking for someone? Because this isn't the best. Uh, Langdon run, rounds on the dwarf. Idiot! They're probably with the Griswold Knights. You made a great mistake coming here. Brave Dalphilas, you leave. Uh, yep. I sure did. Rip. Rapier. Oh. All done. Sure. Hey, what the hell? Yeah. Huh. That's a big ass bed. What the hell? Huge. Hmm, take a look at that. Bloodstone. Ooh. Huh. Do 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 do. So we found out a plot. Thieves plot for some reason. I don't even know how I found it. Was it just Oh. Well. I thought that was the end. <laughs> okay. Meet Varzano. Er, Mestre Verzano has given me a package to deliver to Gareth at the Goose. The Goose.
Who am I looking for? Okay, Gareth. Here you are. Man skulks near the bar. He seems like he's trying to blend in with the wood paneling, and he watches the other patrons out of the corner of his eye. He gives you a quick nod as you approach. Rosano has a delivery for you. He glances around and snatches the pouch from you. Keep your voice down, will ya? The domicilo domenials have spies everywhere. <clears throat> he tucks the pouch away. You tell Rosano this is the last time I'm buying from him. This is getting too dangerous for me. You lost an item. <gasps> Did I just do something illegal? Uh, no. Uh, no. I don't think I've ever heard of the Dominals. The more important thing is making sure they don't hear you. Hear you, you. They're old Breckenberry stock, but these days the Dominals are known for their business activities, most of which involve some degree of bribery, extortion, theft, or murder. What do they have to do with this? <clears throat> you have no idea, do you? Let's just say that the Domenals have uh, exclusive rights to trade certain merchandise within the city. Rosano likes to make some extra coin from time to time by dealing in the same merchandise. Undercutting the competition, he says. What's in the pouch? Better squash seeds, they interrupt pregnancies. Even though they're not exactly legal, many folk nowadays prefer them to... Th to the risk of holoborn or celibacy. Oh, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Get out of here before. Oh shit, that guy's got a hat. Dana, woman swaggers in her polished boots, thwacking the floor with slow, deliberate steps. A crooked sneer warps her smooth face. Gareth, I'm hurt. You promised to buy only one for me. What's a girl to think? Uh, Gareth bows. His knees knocking together. Please, my lady. I was just explaining that I don't do business with anyone else. Except this one last time, right? Dana crosses her arms and rocks back on her heels. There's always one more deal. Until you run out of credit, that is. Dana turns and regards you, looking up, looking you up and down. And just who are you? You don't exactly look like a seed dealer. Stay silent. You've got pluck, but don't try to hold out on me, especially not when I'm inclined to let you off the hook. Rosano put you up to this, didn't he? That old fool's on a sinking ship, and he's determined to drag anyone who gets close enough down with him. She eyes the trembling Gareth. Gareth here knows better, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In fact, I'll also give you a chance to get even with the imbecile who's been playing us both. What do you say to killing Verzano? I'll decide his fate when I talk to him again. You better make up for your mind quickly. You better make up your mind quickly because we're going to pay him his dues one way or another. Just make sure you stay out of the way. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. Uh oh, spaghetti. -os. 107 drop frames. Pog. How am I dropping frames on a game like this? Maybe it's just my internet being pooptastic. Anyways, I think that's it for the time being. Get some more later down the road. So, yeah. See y'all later. Bye-bye.